All right, so here we are on the secluded island, and shooting stars are now falling. So we're going to look for the monster I need to fight here on the island. Hopefully he's on the outside of the area of the island and not near those damn Chromars. I really don't know what it looks like or what kind of monster it is or where it's going to be at. But hopefully I can find it and kick its ass, whatever it is. Doesn't look like it's a nebula, or near the nebulas for that matter. I don't see it over there. Hopefully the shooting stars don't stop. It's hard to tell if they're still going. I guess the only way to tell is just to keep looking out the water and make sure shooting stars are falling. Hopefully I can find this damn enemy before it stops. Seriously, though. Where are you, special monster? Please be around here so I don't have to look so much harder for you. You son of a bitch. Please be out here, though. If he's not out here, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Then I... Cause then I gotta, what, sneak past the high level ass Chromars that I'll never be able to beat? Oh, never mind, I found it. Proper bandas, you're just a Cruz Pagool in disguise. Tis no, of no consequence. Time to destroy. And once I've destroyed this asshole, we'll be done with officially all the challenge quests in this area as well. At least all the ones I have. There's always a chance there's more quests. When I go back to Alchemoth... <coughs> I'm gonna go wandering around there for a while, just like I did with, just like what I did with Frontier Village, and do as many quests as I possibly can, meaning finish all the quests I've already done, and more than likely find a whole bunch more. I'm probably gonna find a bunch of quests that have to do with the mountain, because I haven't, I only have a couple from Frontier Village that actually have to do with the mountain. Get up! Get up! Damn, trying to knock bitches over, you asshole. Proper bandas. More like improper asshole. Bandas is gonna need a band aid when I'm finished with this ass. With his ass. Bastard. Focus your attacks. <laughs> well, he definitely has high defense. I'll give him that much. But that's all he's got. He ain't got a chance in hell to survive this shit. This game is over for you, bro. It's over for you, bro. You can sweep the leg all you want, but it will mean nothing when I'm finally done with you, you little bitch. Sweep the leg. Just remember, proper bandas sweeps the leg, so protect your legs at all costs. If only I had somebody to tell me that beforehand. Oh well, he did. Another challenge quest a done. Any cool items? We got... A couple of weapons and a scientist gill and a pretty pagool crystal, which we don't have any room for. Ether up and electric plus. Let's go ahead and get it. I got plenty of crystals I can probably drop that I don't need. But now that I don't have any room in my inventory, I should probably sell some shit. Like, we'll get rid of this. Take that instead. So I'm going to have to go sell some crystals, which is not a big deal. I, I've sold a bunch of crystals before. Any hoozle. Or what I'll do is I'll just go to the, or I'll just gem craft the shit out of a bunch of shitty crystals just to make a bunch of gems, and we'll sell gems. That's probably more profitable anyways. At any rate, let's head back to Alchemoth. I'll just meet you at the first person I find that either has a quest or is finishing a quest, because you already know what Alchemoth looks like. There's nothing special about it now at this point. Okay, so here I am back in Alchemoth, and I finally, finally, finally found someone to finish a quest. Nilo, a little bastard ass no pawn who's wandering around here in the land of Entia so that's cool I don't even remember which thing he wanted what did he want oh he's the one that wanted all the freaking alcohol bastard anyway that quest is done that's friends. cool you need some more alcohol there Nilo just let me know now he's gonna go have his party he says anyways um, one thing I did while I was walking around here is I've got the last star drop, star drop I needed, so I don't have that quest open anymore. I got my five star drops. Sorry if I didn't show me completing that quest, but it, it wasn't that big a deal. Anyway, I'll see you at the next person who has a quest. Alright, so here I am on the upper level, and I finally found another person to talk to, Ruthon. I remember he also wanted me to do the quest. I think he wanted the one where I needed to... I don't remember. Get get the sturdy armor or whatever? I don't really fucking remember. If he's the one that wanted sturdy armor, I should have came back and gave him that shit a long time ago. 
Because I got those sturdy armors a long fucking time ago. I did those, like, off, not even... I did those way before I even did Quest Fest, man. That's crazy ridiculous. If that was that quest, I'm lame for not finishing that one already. I mostly just didn't want to have to go find who I started all these quests with in the first place. Whatever, let's find somebody else. Alright, you guys, remember the super secret, super secret strip club? It's about time we figured out how to get inside. Here we go, let's talk to the bouncer. I'm afraid those without secret clubs we may not enter. We ask you to leave. Yeah, we already know that. <coughs> but we actually... You just need to prove... Find someone who has a secret club card. Okay. Okay, then. Surprise quest. Yes. We need to figure out who has a secret club card. Well, that's going to be fun quest. Whatever, let's go find somebody else to quest for with about for and against something. Yeah, just do it. Alright, so we're back here in the palace and during the daytime. And we got LaCro over here who wanted me to do a quest. I don't remember which quest he wanted me to do, but it's probably beating a monster or something. Or a group of monsters or who the fuck knows. Every quest is the same, right? Yeah, we did some stuff. And some things. And some more theft and some more things. You got any more quests for us, LaCro? Let me know. Maybe Galvin, his little friend over here, will have a quest now that we finished his quest. No, doesn't look like that's the case. Say la vey. Next quest. Okay, so one thing I didn't get to do while I was here last time was look around Melia's garden area. I mean, I, I got here, unlocked it and all that good stuff, but I didn't even get a chance to explore it because that was when all the mecha on attack, so I never got to look around and I didn't take the time to come back here and look around yet till just now so here we are this place is pretty cool looking I wonder if we could uh bust Shulk out and maybe go sniff some of Melia's uh belongings I won't use any appropriate words but you know what I mean wait how could she stay here there's just water and stuff there's nowhere for her to sleep or maybe you could only get up to where she has to sleep by flying that's how you keep the keep the men at bay. You fly up to your loft so they can't chase you. Well, then again, all the Entia men would be have the flying ears too. So it would be what would be the point of that? I don't know. Or maybe this isn't where she sleeps. This is just where she hangs out most of her days. You know, trying to trying to start a trouble in my neighborhood. Got in one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, "You're moving with your auntie and your uncle in the sky and the garden in the sky." Yeah. Whatever, let's go find some more fucking things to look for, damn it. This is a waste of time. I was just about to say I'm surprised by the lack of new quests around here, but guess what? I found one finally. I wonder if this is just someone I didn't talk to before. Or maybe somebody that just wanted to do quests now that I helped somebody else. It sounds like he knows Ruthon, so he probably just didn't have the quest till I helped him do Ruthon out. Either way... Here's another quest that I gotta do, and it's gonna require multiple objectives, of course. That's always fun. We'll have to check out what he wants us to get. Oh, well, green diodes, done. Astus remote unit, done. Oh, looks like we already did his yes. quest for him. Never mind. There's an easy quest. <laughs> easy. I was just thinking, that I was, like I said, I was surprised by the lack of new quests, but then I thought about it, and since all the quests here have timers... I guess I shouldn't be that surprised because most likely when I, you know, at some point when the, the, they don't want you to be able to miss any of the quests that come later. So there's just not going to be a whole lot of new quests around here. It's going to be kind of like uh, when I was at the the, uh, the camp in the Bionis Leg, the, the refugee camp. It's going to be like that where there's like, there's a bunch of quests, but there wasn't a whole lot of quests that stacked upon more quests. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Oh, I just invited his bitch to Colony 6. My bad. Here I was just babbling away. Well, it made the reconstruction and population go up. That's cool. I don't know if that really affects anything when you send people there. I mean, I know it affects the colony, but does it affect the place that they came from in the first place? I don't know. I dwell too much on that. More quests. All right, so out here on the outer edge on the ground area... Here's another no pawn that has a quest. It's Popipo. Popipo. Hi, Popipo. You got any quests for me? Oh, he's talking about that other guy who talks too much and drinks too much. Looks like that had nothing to do with the quest, though. Just 
Get on with the quest, man. What do you got? Are we playing hide and seek? Talk to Baroba. That's the dude I just talked to, isn't it? Well, let's talk to Baroba. The little no pawn right behind me that was just walking by. I will that's an easy enough task. Hi Baroba, how's it going? Do you have a quest you would like me to do? He wants me to get five Etheroses. Done. That was easy enough. Here, you can have them. Yeah, they smell pretty bad. You can have all my flowers, in fact. I'm not a flower fan. So now we gotta go what, talk to the other one again? Yes, we do. At least they're nearby each other. That makes this quest so easy. So much easier. Hi, Popey Po. We finished your friend's quest. Are we done here? Okay. We're all best friends forever now, aren't we? Yeah. We're such good people. We should get a medal for that. Whoa! Just realized there's another quest on my map all of a sudden. Anyway, let's go see if that's another new important Tante quest. Yeah. Looks like it's just a random citizen, which means it's probably just a stupid fetch quest. Oh, look, it's a material quest. Two glossy Grady fans from Lunar Grady's. Uh, I don't think I've killed many Lunar Grady's, but that should not be a problem. And the best part is I don't even have to come back and talk to him when I finish it. Yeah, I'll probably just do that in a minute and go back out there and just kill the little fish in the water until I get that quest done. Anyways, next quest. Alright, here we are with a couple of a couple of bitches who are talking to each other. Zane is the one we need to talk to, though. Zane is the one we did a quest for before. I don't remember which quest. It's hard to remember which quest was for which one of these damn people. All I remember is they all wanted me to kill things. He wanted me to do ooh, the water one, I guess. Oh, the one where I had to collect all the different kinds of water. Yeah, that definitely was quite a quest. Oh, and for helping him, the other one has a qu request now. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Where did he drop what? This is awesome, though. I keep, I'm getting a lot of Melly and Sharla affinity up around here with these quests. This is fantastic. I'm hoping I get it to the point where I can finish that other stupid quest in Colony 9. Maybe one day I'll actually do all the Colony 9 quests and be done forever. Maybe. We can only hope, right? Find the chalk container on Anu Shore. Oh, great. Now we gotta go all the way the fuck back there to Anu Shore out in the middle of nowhere on the damn Aerith Sea. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do that. Shit cakes for me. Yes. That's not too difficult. It's just a matter of going back out there. I've been out there before. It's not that, it wasn't that difficult. I just had to get the fuck away. Just takes forever. Just another thing I'll have to go out into the damn air sea to do. Well, let's see if I have any more quests to find and I'll meet you somewhere. I don't know where. Alright, so over here on the other side of the bottom area, and we got Volaurin who has another quest for us. What do you want us to do? What do you need help with, sir? My son has gone missing. I'm really sorry, but could you help me look for him? What's your son's name, sir? I'll call out a code, uh, a code yellow. Or is it code yellow? I'll call it a code green. Code green? Okay. Anyways, just watch your daughter. I'll go find your son. Where the fuck is he at? Find Atail. Isn't that the little kid I just talked to like two seconds ago? He was running around hella fast. He just ran by me, didn't he? Seriously, didn't a little kid just run by here and his name was Atail? What the fudge? Which way did he go, man? I'm gonna start playing fucking Bugs Bunny over here. Which oh, way did he go? Oh, which way did he go? Seriously, he was running around like a little bitch. Whatever, let's run around and try to find him. Goddamn little kids. I was running laps and shit. Okay, for some reason this this Galdo bitch wasn't here before. But he was supposed to be. And um, here's another quest I should have finished already. I don't remember what he wanted me to bring him, but he wanted some kind of item to help his back or something. He had back problems or some shit. Either way, that quest is now done. Yeah, don't hurt your back again, bitch, because I ain't helping you again. You got any more quests there, Galdo? Welcome. Welcome. I didn't think so. Alright, let's go find that kid, damn it. That kid pissed me off. Saw him, and then he disappeared, little bastard. Okay, so I found the stupid little kid. He's over here in the fucking corner, hiding, little bastard. And kick his ass or some shit. Yeah, I found you, you little atai, you little asshole. I got your number. Go back to your dad before I have to kick your ass. I got pull around this bitch. 
I am the queen after all, or the empress, whatever you want to call it. I rule this bitch. I'm the fucking king around his pots. You listen to your dad because I said so, bitch. He was literally right behind his dad. He was just off in the corner. I was hella lame because I looked around for a while and I realized, oh, look, a red exclamation point. Duh. Whatever. Stupid kids. Listen to your parents or I'll destroy you forever. Oh, God. And he has another quest. What? Is his son gone again? Oh, God. Now the daughter's gone after you wanted me to look after. You were supposed to watch the daughter while I found the son, you idiot. You fucking goddamn idiot. Cyan, where is she at? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hopefully she didn't get abducted by the strip club and now she's working there. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about that. Anyway, let's go find the goddamn daughter. This is going to be a bitch. Oh, look, fucking A. She wasn't even that far away. She's actually right near where the fucking mother... These kids don't even go far. They just go right out of the dad's eyesight. And they're like, oh, my bad. I didn't realize my dad couldn't see me from there. Oh, oops. Here I am wandering around looking for these bitches. And they're always right near their damn dad. He's just the most irresponsible dad ever. Fucking A. You have wings, dude. Fly up in the sky and look down. It's just that easy. God, hopefully you put him on handcuffs or leashes or something next time. Jeez. You guys are you're the most disappointing father I've ever seen. Oh, he just gave me a strength up plus four, though. All right. You're okay, then. What is it? Strength up plus four equals you made up for it? it. This guy's giving me a lot of affinity to stuff, too. You want to slowly roll there, buddy? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just check to see if I got anything left else to do here, and I'll meet you doing something. Oh, shit. Many, many moons later, I have now found something else to do. What is this guy? Nello. Wait, what quest does he have? Oh, what the heck? This is the guy that has the membership card? Oh, snap. I was just looking around to see if there's anything else around here, and I found this. Oh, now he wants Rufus control units? Is that seriously what he just said? He wants Rufus control units. Motherfucker. Well, the funny thing is, I already have, like, one of those, but uh, now I gotta go back to the Entia tomb and get the motherfucking... Motherfucker, motherfucker. Is it this one? Yeah. Find a secret club card. Wait, okay, let me let me double check what he said. Uh, okay, what did he want? Okay, well, he's not helping. Why didn't he tell me? What the hell, man? It just said find a secret club card. It didn't say anything about how to get one. He said something, right? God damn it. What the fuck did he say? It wasn't a material quest. There we go. Getting a member's card. That's what I needed to see. Collect three roof control units. Okay. Well then, let's head back to High Antia Ruins. There is some stuff there I would like to do. So, I'll meet you back outside Alchemoth. Actually, there's a couple other things I want to do also, so I might as well do those as well. So, I'll see you outside in a minute. Alright, so here we are way back over here at the a new shore. Um, if you remember, one of the guys wanted me to come over here and find something that he left here or some shit. And I see the red exclamation point already, so that was easy enough, right? What do we got? Chalk container, that's right, that's what he wanted me to find. I knew it was some random ass shit. Like, what the fuck do you need a chalk container for? You're gonna need to teach some little kids some math while you're out there? Ah, whatever. There's a, what was the other thing I need to do while I was out here? I need to kill some, some fucking fish or something? Well, I'll do that later. For now... I'll meet you back in the High Antia Tomb near the Rufus area. Alright, here we are in the Tower of Trials, and here's Rufus. Hi, Rufus. It's been a while. How's it going? How's your friends? You know, Rufus and Rufus and Rufus. Um, I think there's only like two or three Rufus to kill, so... We might have to leave and come back to respawn them. But, it was a lot easier to get back here, seeing as how I have Melia. I can walk around wherever I want and activate everything. That's pretty awesome, right? Damn it, we didn't even get one from the first one. God damn it. Mother effer. But one thing I wanted to check is remember, I said I was going to come back here with Melia. And I think it was down here. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Anyway, it was down here. I remember climbing down here and going in this door. And then finding it was a dead end, but I said, I'm going to come back here with Melia, and I bet you I can activate that shit. And you know what? I'm about 100%, 100,000 bazillion percent positive that this is going to lead to something cool. 
or something. <laughs> it's either that or it's going to lead to something I can't do yet. <laughs> Hopefully it's something cool. Ancient insignia. It appears to be sealed. Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay, something I can't do yet. Go with the ladder. God damn it. I was all excited because I thought I was going to get to do something cool. Well, fuck my life. Man, seriously, I thought it was gonna be something cool. I was, I was, I was about to get all excited. That's the second time I run into an ancient insignia, though. I'm sure there'll be. It's either gonna be part of a quest that I have to check that out, or it'll be like a. I don't know. Some item I'll get later that allows me to open stuff that has that symbol on it. Because the other ancient insignia I found was that on the Earth Sea. It was inside the Hode. I think it was inside the Hode. Uh, the Hode Island, the Hode Getaway, or whatever the fuck island that was. The one that had the Hodes on it, damn it. Move the fuck out of the way, Dunban. Trying to knock Melia off and shit. This ain't American Gladiators, bitch. This is the Antia Upskirts Anonymous, okay? Has nothing to do with it. Let's kill some more Rufus. Hi, Rovaz. Blam, Rufus. Blam. Damn it. Whatever. You know who I have to kill. I'm probably just gonna do it on my own time then. Shit, I can't get a damn... Can't get a damn Rufus device. This is annoying as shit. You know what I should do, though? Is finish looking around here. Because, if you remember, first time I came here, um, you get to the end, you fight the boss, and then you're back in the damn... You're back in the damn capital. So maybe there's something cool in the final room I didn't even get to look at. Ceremony hall. So yeah, this place. I didn't even get to look around in here at all. Is there anything cool in here? Or is it just a dead end? It looks like it's just a dead end, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Well, fine then. Whatever. Let me just fight some Rufus and I'll meet you guys after I get some Rufus. Alright, back here in Alchemoth. Let's talk to Mr. Kuralf. He's the one that wanted the chalk board or whatever. Or the chalk holder or whatever the fuck it was. Some sort of chalk thingy. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Mm, chalk. Yeah, I got your chalk for you, sir. Now, are you... Oh, damn. Damn, I'm getting a lot of good gems. I need to start equipping new gems on some people. Yep, new quest from Zane. What does he forget? Now, he forgot something else that they need for their fucking adventure. You can get it from the lake bed, Orthless... What? What? Collect an Orthless liver? Agora Shore and Colony 9? Are you kidding me? Colony 9? These bitches got something they want me to do with Colony 9? Oh my god. I can't even believe that's a thing. Well, definitely gonna go do that just to get that out of the way because I'm not going back to Colony 9 otherwise. Anyway, let's go back to that dude and get our fucking strip club card. Alright, so we're back over here by the escalator that the no pawn is over. The drunken ass no pawn Nello. And he's gonna give me a strip club card in exchange for some Rufus control units. Yeah. Time to go to the secret club, baby. I'm excited. I've been waiting to go to that secret club ever since I found the bouncer. I'm excited. Hell excited. I'm gonna meet you guys at the entrance, because that is fucking awesome. All right, guys, here it is. The moment I've been waiting for, the moment you've been waiting for, the moment we've all been waiting for, the strip club. Yes. Let's do it. This is a secret club card. My most humble apologies. Yeah, that's right, get the fuck out of my way. So what? What's up in here, man? Me. Is there just two people up in here? That's all it is? This place isn't very cracking. This is delicious. Okay, oh, over here. Seriously, this is all it is. It's freaking five people in a little ass crevice. I mean, you got this no pun over here macking on two ladies, though. At least that's entertaining. But how disappointing. It's Didi Ba, this sneaky little bastard. Hand over the secret ingredients, you little sneaky bastard. Whoa, what the heck? Some crazy sound effects. What happened? Oh, he's got under arrest. Damn it. You're just cowards. It's all about that caviar. I remember the caviar. Man, this is one long quest chain, I must say. 
Damn, Didi Ba didn't expect him to be the kingpin. Running shit around this bitch. Crazy awesome. So now we gotta go back to the Frontier Village to finish that shit off. That's cool, because I want to go back there anyways. And do the uh, No Pond Sage quest, because I actually got all the items I need for that as well. So, yeah, let's head back there, because I don't think there's anything left to do here at the moment. So I'll meet you back at Frontier Village. Okay, back in Frontier Village. First thing of note is there's actually another new quest. Holy crap. Rasha. Rasha Shanana has got another new quest. What do you got for us? What should I do? I wish there was another grown-up woman I could talk to about this. Grown-up woman? Is, sh is, is Melia not a grown-up woman? Alright, well, let's put Sharla in the party, or the front of the party. That's kind of weird. I guess Melia is not considered grown. She's just... She's just mosquito bites, if you know what I'm saying. Here's your grown-ass woman. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? What are your problems? You got lady problems? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. What do you got? What do you got? What you got? What you got? What you what you what you got? What you got for us? What you what you got for us? Biatch. Something wrong with her sister or something. I'm skipping through this way too fast. Ether crystal deposit in Aerith Sea. Oh god. Oh god. You have to go over there and kill a monster, huh? Well, that's easy enough. Pillager Hode. Ether crystal deposit. Well, I know well where that is, so we'll be doing that momentarily. But before we do that, let's go over here and talk with Pee Key. We can go ahead and keep Charlotte in the front of the party for the moment since we're not fighting anything. And Pee Key's the one that told us about the No Pond Sage. So, yay, quest complete. Now what? Okay. So now that we did all that, do we actually get to go see the No Pond Sage? Because I'm kind of excited. Alright, let's do this. PP Key wants grown-ups to go see for themselves. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Now, where is he at? Mock the waterfall. No pond sage will come out. What did he want me to do? Make it the offering where you can see the rainbow. Okay. But what's the offering? I just wonder what the offering is. Bitter kiwi. No. Sage's food. Oh, cool. He brought the gave me the offering. Cool. Cool. That'll be the next thing we do then. I know I said I was going to kill that monster, but I think I'm going to do that first. Now, the second thing we need to do is finish off this this other quest where we have to talk to uh, the dude about Dee Dee Ba being the fucking kingpin and shit. So we got to go up here to the works and talk to this Fulio, the slave driver over here, Gadeta. Hey, good data. Data Bob was a fucking pimp. He was a fucking pimp. He was running shit. Rolling with that high caviar and shit, you know? Yay. The world, all is right with the world. Oh my god, we have so much good items. I need to fucking... Oh my god, I need to load up. I really need to load the fuck up. Seriously. I don't know if there's anybody else I need to talk to for the aftermath of that quest. But I'm just glad it's over with. So... Let's head to Mokta Falls and I'll see where I gotta go offer this stuff to talk to the Nopon Sage. So we're supposed to place this piece of sage food right here on the ground where we can see the rainbow of Mokna Falls. I don't see no stinking rainbow. Am I not looking in the right spot? I don't know. Let's just make the offering and see if we can meet the sage. Wait, the no pond sage won't appear even if we make an offering? Oh, we have to make the rainbow appear first? I see. I get it. Well, at least it told me the spot. I didn't have to make the rainbow appear first. Well, you know how you make a rainbow appear? You make it rain in this bitch. So we just... We'll just mess with the time until it makes... Until we make it rain. I found the best way to get weather change is to just keep clicking. In fact, there could only be a rainbow in the day, so we have to make it daytime. But the best way i found to make it rain is to just keep on clicking. Keep on clicking one hour at a time until it starts raining. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I had this down pretty good earlier. I could just click real quick and just go to the next time. Go away, you stupid bug. Anyway, I, I'm not sure if it's that you can see a rainbow while it's raining or if you have to wait till after it's done raining 
I'm pretty sure you can see it while it's raining though. What would be the point of making me do this all day? Just keep doing this till it starts raining, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't usually take me this as I mean that many that many tries, but there's always a chance that it takes me all day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just keep on changing the time. Damn it. I keep fucking doing that. Come on, rain, you bitch. Wait, no, I see the rainbow. I see the rainbow. You see it? You see it? I see it. I can barely see it, but I fucking see it. Let's hurry up and make this offering before we fuck it up. Okay. Whew. Done. Holy shit. No Pontage. Awesome. Was it you who summoned me with that scrumptious looking offering? Yes, my approval and I want your treasure. I want your pot of gold, Rainbow Sage. Kawush Kawish Shabana Shabani. Grant Papiki's wish to stomach bitter- That's all that bitch wanted? Whatever. Lame. We could ask him for a better wish than that. Like, can we have your pot of gold? You know what that bitch hell reminded me of by the words he just uses was freaking tingle. Fucking tingle, man. Tingleberry from Legend of Zelda. Just just by the words he used. That's the only reason why. I'm not gonna cut to talking to Papiki, because Papiki's just right here in the front of the fucking of the village. We'll be there in no time flat. It's just a matter of waiting for it to load. I know I've been cutting a lot, so I figure I'll give myself a moment to be able to just talk and walk and chew gum at the same time. No, I'm not actually chewing gum. Don't you fret, people. Don't you fret. PPK, we've solved your troubles. We found the Nopon's Edge, and now you can eat your bitter kiwi to your heart's content. Yay for you, right? Yay for you. Huzzah, huzzah. We have so many gems, I'm going to have to do so much re-equipping to finish all the stuff I would love to do. Okay, just talky talky. No more talky. Okay, so what do we have to do now? Um... Let's go kill that monster in uh, Air Sea real quick, why don't we? 